Hi folks, we're now beginning learning unit number two of our course. As you'll see in the syllabus over um, this unit, you're gonna be working on developing, uh, ultimately developing uh, a memo. You're gonna see that there's a number of key lessons within this unit that talk to you about a number of the, the, the kinds of communications that would take place commonly within in traditional workplaces, such as workplace emails and memos. Um, as part of the, the assignment itself, as part of the unit itself, you're going to end up developing um, a workplace memo. Now, you'll see that the, the assignment itself gives you a, a specific scenario that you're going to be responding to. So to be clear, please don't make the mistake of jumping directly to the assignment itself. You need to make sure that you actually read and watch the lessons. Those lessons are absolutely essential to make sure that you understand how to create a proper memo. Now, once you've gotten through that point, read the memo assignment itself, and you'll see that it presents a scenario. Obviously, I'm, I'm just going to scroll through this, but you're going to read this carefully. And the scenario asks you to look at a, a real organization, the National Program for Playground Safety. And to write a memo that deals with this particular organization. You're being asked to inform a particular audience about that organization in terms of its key goals. So you'll see within the instructions itself, there are specific questions that you want to make sure that you answer within your memo. Now, Remember, the point of this is to write a proper and well-formatted memo. You have to demonstrate an understanding of proper memo format, the standards and conventions for that particular kind of document. Again, that's what's taught within our lessons in this unit. So you have to make sure you really read the lessons and utilize that and actually um, make sure that what you develop is a proper memo. Now, all of what you write within this memo is going to be completely and entirely your own words. Do not take specific wording, even from the website that you are investigating as part of this. You're going to find out the information from this website, but you're going to put the ideas completely in your own words. Uh, just to be clear, there is no research beyond the use of this particular website itself. And so you have to make sure that you're simply writing the ideas here within your own words. Um, we don't want there to be, there shouldn't be for this particular assignment, any real problems with, with plagiarism, but plagiarism would be using somebody else's words or ideas without giving specific proper credit. So it's possible that someone might plagiarize by just going and finding random quotes on the internet about playground safety. That would obviously not fit the point of this assignment. But um, more importantly, it would lead to failing the course. Plagiarism and on anything within this course, whether it's a discussion board post, whether it's a writing assignment like this, any type of plagiarism in this course will lead to immediate failure. So please do not make that mistake. Always make sure you're truly following the directions. And anytime you use any, anybody else's words, they have to be within quotes and given proper credit. But for this particular assignment, for the memo assignment, you're not going to be using anybody else's words. You're going to be looking at this website, learning from it, and writing an effective memo about the contents of that site. So please make sure as part of this, this unit that you fully read the lessons that are involved and carefully review the actual instructions for the memo assignment itself. As you're working on the discussion post this week and the memo assignment itself, um, if you have any questions, as always, feel free to email me and I'll be happy to get back to you right away. All right. Take care, folks.